Scotland. This march on Downing Street was one of the first repercussions against the government's plan to curb the entry of Asians from Kenya into Britain. They weren't all Asians who felt strongly opposed to the new policy, which is designed to control the flood of immigrants into a more easily absorbed, steady flow. Downing Street was sealed off. Only the protest leaders were allowed to approach number 10 and hand in their petition. But the mood was an angry one amongst the main crowd in Whitehall. Racialists clashed with the Asians and their supporters. It was an ugly time when, unfortunately, bitterness took control. There were those ready to make the most of it. Thousands of miles away in Nairobi, Kenya's capital, the Asian community prepared to leave. Britain was their destination. But the entry gates were quickly being closed. The Kenya government had not pulled its punches in telling the British passport holding Asians they were not wanted. President Kenyatta said he looked forward to the early Kenyanization of the commercial life of his country. Asian shopkeepers were left with little alternative but to wind up their businesses and seek new routes. The airport was jammed with those lucky enough to get flight tickets to Britain. There were thousands more who, even with a flourishing black market in operation, would be left behind. It was a race against time for the Britain bound. In quick succession, they were inoculated. The days were fast running out before the unchecked flow of immigrants into Britain would be break. It is generally agreed that the immigration bill is an unpleasant measure, but equally so it is agreed that it is a necessary step. Color of skin is not relevant to the problem. It is certainly not pleasant to make holders of British passports queue to get into this country. But the realities waiting for them on arrival in Britain at the present time are not pleasant either. At Gatwick and Heathrow airports, capacity-packed plane after plane had arrived from East Africa. The passengers considered themselves lucky, even though many had nowhere to go. Racketeers quickly hooked onto the bewildered newcomers offering them accommodation at sky-high rents. The racket had a big turnover. Others were more fortunate. The plight of immigrants is a sad one, but Britain is faced with overcrowding and unemployment. We have to find the answer. <laughs>